Milan Alicia here. Last month, I was having the worst breakout I've had in a very long time. I had cystic acne, blackheads, whiteheads. My skin was clogged all the way up and it didn't matter how much I washed it, the acne just would not go away. It was so strange because I don't wear any face makeup, I don't wear any foundation, no concealer. I only wear my little lipstick and my little mascara, like that's it. So I don't know if it was from environmental pollutants or some hormonal things, but my skin was just jacked all the way up. So I decided to try wearing the Aztec clay mask mixed with apple cider vinegar for one week straight to see if it will make any difference in my skin. As you can see, I still have a little pimple here, a little pimple there, but like my skin is not as bad as it used to be. So if you wanna see how my skin went from this to this, Stay tuned and watch this video, but also make sure you subscribe. This is day one for the Aztec Healing Clay Week Long Challenge. I'm using the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Ending Healing Clay. I'll also be using this Whole Foods Raw Apple Cider Vinegar. I'll be mixing everything together in this small little plastic bowl. Before I start, I want to do a close-up of my face so that I can have a before and after to compare how my face looked before the challenge and then how my face looked afterwards. And then I'll mix everything up together and apply the mask. I did this part off camera, but basically what I did was mix them with the clay powder, wet apple cider vinegar, then I mixed it together until it became a pancake batter-like texture. I have the mask here, so what I'm going to do is just apply it to my face. This is my face after I've applied the mask. I'm gonna leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes or until it starts to get too tight. So with this mask, you'll notice that as it dries, you'll feel your face starts to get really tight or pulsate. And that's because this mask literally pulls whatever you have stuck in your pores out of it. This is how the mask looks as it starts to dry. Like it gets extremely tight. I can barely move my mouth, but I just wanted to show you that. Um, I'm gonna go rinse this off and then I'll come back and show you how my skin looks after um, I applied the mask. This is my skin after I rinsed off the mask. My skin is very red right now and it's also very dry. One of my pimples did pop and I also feel like some of my white heads have gotten more close to the surface because this mask really just goes in and pulls whatever you have in your skin out of it. So I think what's gonna happen is that my skin will purge, which means that you'll get more acne before it gets clear so i'll just have to see if that actually happens throughout this week-long challenge but my skin is getting drier and drier so i'm gonna so i'm gonna go in with some argan oil to moisturize my face i'll do one more up close of my face on day one So this is day two of me using the Aztec clay mask. I don't really notice any differences in my skin between yesterday and today. I do think that my skin looks a bit brighter, but that's because I really want to see some type of result. But I also have noticed that I do have a few more pimples today than I did yesterday. I have a new pimple on my chin on this side, pimples on my chin on that side, and it's because the acne mask really went in and pulled whatever I had in my skin out of it. I'm going to show you a quick close-up of how my skin looks today. I'm going to apply the mask today the exact same way I did yesterday. This is my face after the mask has dried. I'm going to go and rinse it off right now. I just finished washing my face. Another one of my pimples did pop, but that's fine. This mask is really, really, really tight. I'm going to apply some argan oil.
day three of the Aztec clay challenge. I am seeing improvements in my skin already. Like if you just look, I have less acne. My skin is more vibrant. It looks bright. It's glowing. I'm shining. I'm popping. But I'm going to do a close up so you can see how my skin looks coming on to day three. I'm going to apply more of the mask. my skin after rinsing off the mask on day three. Day seven, the final day, and my skin looks a whole lot better than it did on day one. Yeah, I still have one or two pimples, but compared to how it used to be, it's nothing like it was. Like, my skin looks good. It looks clear. Like, it looks, you know, I look fine. One last look before we apply the mask on our last day. This is my skin after rinsing the mask on day seven. I still have a few pimples that I'll continue to treat, but in the meantime, I'm very happy with how my skin looks on day seven compared to day one. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.